You are infrastructure. I don't want infrastructure. I, I want the railroad. What if I do it like this way? Okay, that only counts as one. It is being immediately attacked, which is a bit of an issue. So while that's being attacked, we might as well go for... I mean, we could have built... No, Spy Hub's like 30,000 points. That's way too expensive. Uh, we might as well go for a factory here. Again, it's just kind of in the meantime. Okay, we have a land doctrine. Trying to think, what do we want? Maybe grand battle plan? That, you know, that max entrenchment, honestly, I think would be really useful right now. Give me max entrenchment. Give me construction speed, even though we only have one factory at the moment. I still think this is good for us. Your multiple combats, maybe we can, like, turn the tide here a little bit. We have one Chilean troop moving their way onto this railroad. I need this area secured immediately. We're gonna do another last stand. Mexico joining the International. Mexico, you wanna send troops down here? I think that would actually be really... Paraguay! Finally, you've taken the initiative. Training time wise, 20% is kinda of garbage. Another reduction in cost would be nice. Damage to the Gittersons. You know, let's, let's, let's strike at railroads. That could prove useful. Do you have any supply depots up here? You do. It's not connected to your capital, though. So that's, that's going to prove to be an issue for you. Almost certainly. How long is this going to take, also? 16, about a month? I mean, I guess you can capture... No, if you, you could capture here. Which could maybe help us out a little bit. But I think it's a little... I think it's definitely risky. Okay, so Chile, Chile's actually moving away here. That's actually really nice. That's an encirclement. I'm actually going to attack... Never mind. I was going to attack here to make sure this guy didn't get in position. They want you... Stay here. Hello, uh, Vini in Africa. Yeah, it's just I've had... Resistance Argentina. That actually sounds really nice. There, there's been a... Um, delays. Let me just put it that way. Uh, in my schedule the past few days. Um, I thought we'd be able to get some of this done like a day or so ago, but um, it, it didn't quite work out there. I, I, for, like, I apologize for uh, any delays. Okay, Paraguay's moving their way down south immediately, taking some territory. Argentina, move your way up north. Get the hell out of here, okay? Because if you were just like to leave... Just leave me alone. I'm going to send one more unit up north. Again, I, we need to connect this railroad. It's going to take us about two more weeks. But then these guys will actually have supplies and we'll be very happy with it. Take as much time as you need. Join watching. Thank you. Appreciate it. We could actually... I'm not even looking. We could even get like an encirclement here. It would be difficult though. Like sabotage. Where can we infiltrate? Wait. Why not in the Falklands? I mean, probably like here would make the most amount of sense. The question is, how do you actually do this? I mean, I can click on this. I don't know if I'm missing a button or, or, or something of that nature. Where's my railroad? Okay, 16th. Eight more days. Um, okay, you're... Holding out for now. Again, I need you to last stand. I, your organization is not going to recover until this railroad's done. But once that railroad is done, oh, it's going to be beautiful. You know, it's just going to take a few days, okay? Nothing? Few, like, there we go. There's our railroad done. Love to see it. That should mean that, yeah, all of our allies now have supplies. Organization can recover at a decent rate. 
How's it already? Has it already been seven days? I guess so. Doesn't really feel like it though, has it? Um, again, we would like to take this area if we could. It's, I, I don't know how. How do you raid? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But I, I, again, I don't, I don't see a button. If anybody sees a button, just let me know. Okay, there's strike the railroads. I mean, get war propaganda, which would be nice. But it doesn't seem like it's actually open anything new. Supply consumption minus five percent. No, give me an extra reduction in cost. While well, you guys holding position, organization here's looking good. We will push our way through you, and uh, of course the French. They do have a tank in the area, and, and tanks are pretty good. I would love to get this encirclement. All these foreign troops would be really, really nice. Okay, push here. Push here. My phone's going off. Nothing important at all. Okay, so he pushed you. Honestly, go here, go here. You follow, you fall back. I want you moving your way to this city. You come up here for the assist. And to me, that looks, that's a, that's a really good encirclement. Right now, we are at 22 to 59,000 casualties. The encirclement is now complete. You have to do the focus decision before the war starts. Okay, well, it's a little bit too late for that then. But that, <coughs> excuse me, that's okay. <coughs> Don't want any of you. Again, the encirclement here is looking pretty good. Who's assigned to this line? I want you here. But other than that, you're, you're more or less good. And you will soon be encircled. Which will... How many, how many men are in this encirclement? We've got seven divisions. And that's all! That's all... I'm pretty sure that's all of the foreign troops. And if all of the foreign troops... Can you know, just end up dead... I feel like that'd be really nice for us. You know, hold your position here. Probably is our best interest to push away here than into the uh, capital. And we're also attacking over rivers. Never a great sign. Two of our troops forward. They're trying to push their way through. It's not going to happen. They basically just keep the pressure on these guys for as long as we possibly can. I mean, what is Argentina at? They capitulate at 20%. They're at 81 right now. We haven't really taken any major city, so... It's not super surprising that that's where we're at. Yeah, once the organization hits zero, they will just be basically deleted off the map. Because they don't have enough troops for that. I mean, I'm looking at this. I honestly don't think there's really... I mean, defense on core tier, but 15% is not terrible. I will take you. But a lot of our early focuses are basically already kind of dealt with. I'm going to actually rush my way straight to Bueno Aeris. This might be a little bit uh, risky for this one division, but honestly, I, I feel pretty okay with it. Especially since all these divisions will soon be making their way over here as well. We got Cordoba. Paraguay, I think they have claimed, yeah, they claim here and they got a claim on this land as well. Yeah, we're just going to take Buenos Aires. Yeah, there we go. The capital will fall. You absolutely freaking love to see it. We do have more military factories. We're going to put that straight here. Dockyards, just, just put them onto this. Civilian factories, we have six right now. You're not connected by rail, but that's not going to happen. Um, Right now, we're about 87. We have lost 26. I mean, the numbers are looking, I would say, pretty good. And they still have one more division. There we go. They're now at the 95. Uh, not, not even close. Not even close. Okay, why don't you move your way up north? Take Cordoba. Because you're now at 57%. Just some really smart maneuvering has allowed us to accomplish great things. Almost bad. from office. You guys actually aren't getting great supplies anymore. You're a 10 victory point. 
And you're 20. The Chilean troop, he could probably make some maneuvers in this direction. Actually, I want you moving up to Cor towards Cordoba as well. You go here, you go to this city. That's actually worth 10 as well. The Casual Buenos Aires with the fall of Darza Norte and Porta Modrena. Uh, again, butchering every pronunciation here. But Aaron's is now officially under control. While well, the seats uh, will take weeks to pacify as the uh, road commanders continue to fight from the industrial heartland of Argentina, uh, we will strike a crippling blow to the reactionary regime. With the headquarters of all major unions and many of uh, the industrial workers in the area, we've had no trouble linking up with our informant networks and loyalist workers and many men have begun, who have been previously unable to join our fight in the south are now able to volunteer once more. Oh, you actually just give me a free division? That's actually kind of bad because we're already at our cap, but... For right now, I'll take it, because again, I think the war is essentially already over. How much are you worth? You're worth three victory points. Again, you're worth ten, you were worth five. You might as well move your way up to these cities here. Will Cordoba be enough for Argentina to fall? I believe the answer is yeah. No, it's not. It's close, but not, not quite there. We do need some of these other cities. But Argentina is basically having a pretty bad day. I want you moving your way here. I want you moving here. And yeah, then you move your way up to these northern cities. Paraguay, if you could capture, like, Hostas, like, that might be enough for us to win, but it's hard to say. There we go. Cordoba. More stability and war support. I mean, here's the thing. Is there any reason for us to take casualties? The answer has to be no, right? Like, there's no reason to do that. Yeah, we actually got more free divisions. Which, under normal circumstances, would be nice. But again, it's putting us over this cap. Each one is actually a 2.5% penalty in all those fields. Hey, location cities have collapsed. That's fine. Okay, Syria is declared their independence. And they've got to be, yeah, 22%. We're way up towards here. They got a couple of cities, but nothing really too crazy that we have to worry about. Again, I don't want to be taking casualties for no reason. And there we go. How many guns did I take? Not a lot. We got four trains out of it, though. Boom, 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 boom. So, Paraguay, I will give you these areas that you're fighting for. And the rest of it, yeah, just goes to us. And victory for the revolution! Starting on a small insurrection in the south, and after many years of planning and waiting, we have successfully defeated the reactionary government in Buenos Aires and have sent them into exile. With our leaders consolidating the power of the workers in the capital, they have decided to formally declare the Argentinian Republic fully suspended and instead of opted to proclaim a new Argentinian commune. With his victory for the proletariat in one of the most unlikely places, we have uh, acted with inspiration for socialists worldwide and helped the international achieve world revolution soon enough. Okay, we were capital. Apparently, a lot of other people get more popularity in the government. I think? Yeah. Surprisingly, we actually have a fairly balanced government. Corporation uh, Arucana, a new symbol of power amongst the Mapuches after the seed, uh, SCD DLA is dissolved. It's demanding the favor they give us back. Uh, when we were needed to be returned. Now led by Venencio Copen, Hanschel, and Manuel Alberto Panglif, uh, they have asked for an expansion of native rights of full citizen status and establishment of a series of res uh, reservoirs where they were able to carry on with their lives in some semblance of self-government without our direct intervention, as well as some small subsidies for their activities. While many point out that by granting these demands, we would be healing the divide created by previous regimes, there have also been many tractors that point that near, uh, that at the nearly reactionary traditionalist, identitarian, and borderline secession nature of the demands. We will grant our wishes. I think we will uh, ugly color beautiful pretty result. We have these units now. The question is who are we going to be attacking next? Because then for us to form the country we want to form by the end of this campaign, we don't need to attack Brazil. Very important that you don't need to, to know you do not need to attack Brazil. So I guess we'll put our units probably on Paraguay's front. Something like that for, for now. How are supplies up here, by the way? We got one supply depot. Okay, I think supplies here should be more or less okay. And now, the revolution's successful. We, actually, we also have three in political power, which is actually really nice. We use that. We're already on free trade. Which, to me, still, I think makes the most amount of sense. At least for the time being. 
We will go for uh, Samisa. As well as... We gotta have a good Geo Staff, right? You know, honestly... Eh. Give me that Max Entrenchment. Give me an extra plus 10. We can ignore you now. Units are heading home. We'll import one unit of steel from France. Most of that steel that we're... That we still need, I think, mostly for convoys, which I'm not too concerned with. And for the rest, we should, I believe, be okay. We're still negative 40. We're an illegitimate republic, fall of the revolution, resistance to socialism, and administrative chaos. Chile asked for Terra de Figo. Our comments in Chile asked for control of the state of Terra de Figo as reparations for helping the war against Argentina. I'm assuming that's this area here. Yeah, sure, why not? You can, you can take it. Well, we might get it back in the future. I'm not too sure. But for right now... I mean, what do, you, what, what do you even get out of this? There's no natural resources. You have 1,000 population. I mean, I guess the borders look a little bit nicer. Look at that. You know what? Decent enough. Um, I can ignore you for now. And the massive anti-government rallies. Despite the fact that our armies have liberated the populace from their bourgeois oppressors, many have taken the streets to protest or take over. Specifically, they consider that the country has been taken over by tyrants. Many political parties like the UCR, the PDP, the PDN, and the UCRA continue to stroke, uh, stoke the fires even further. Calling this a return of the old ways of the corrupt PAN, kept their fresh and grits in the country not even two decades earlier. While well, force are already in the field trying to disperse the protesters, and secure that outside of the traditional industrial proletariat, we lack any significant support. In order to solidify our administration, we will need to improve our legitimacy as we did in Patagonia when the revolution began, and prove that to the nation, we're not just another tool of oppression against the people. Okay. I don't think that gave us any decisions, if I'm not mistaken. We are losing political power, so we're just going to be sitting at zero for a while. I'm sure that's fine. Okay, the revolution's successful. In the first uh, National Trade Union Congress. As the new trade union delegates arrive at the Congress, tensions are quickly rising between the formerly politically aligned groups. While no major incidents have been reported as of yet, uh, insulting comments, shouting matches, and even some fistfights have been cited between different political militias. Some of the delegates have condemned the violence and seem to end the seeming disunity within uh, what's supposed to be a victorious United Front, but other delegates have kept their silence regarding the situation, and many outlets have already begun speculating as to whether this means further violence will come down the road. What, a, what an excellent result. We won, like, yesterday. We've already continued to the island. Gain cores in the Falklands, South Georgia. The election of the 9th Fora Trade Union Congress. In the upcoming Trade Union Congress, the FORA of the 9th Congress, a major splinter of the FORA, made up of moderate, so moderate socialists, have begun an internal discussions of such a delegation. With the revolution coming home, uh, however, the power of the traditionally pacifist and moderate faction of the FORA is waning. Some radicalization caused by the victory of the French Oblair, Manuel Baldemiro Ugrate, has risen to prominence with the revolutionary ideals of revolutionary socialism paired up with militant anti-imperialism, as opposed to Alfredo Palaclas and Alido Justo de Moria, who have become the symbols of evolutionary socialism in the Argentinian political scene. Not surprising for the socialists who decided that the vote was to be held, as an emergency session was called, the votes of the candidates are counted, and we will go for... We want, probably, Ugarte. Yes, I think. Not that we're going to be electing the FRA regardless, even though they're about as popular as the, um, the current ruling party. Election of the United States. Of the USA. Do you is that a, I don't I'm guessing that might be a typo but the union of the FRA the fifth Congress of several autonomous syndicates the USA has become a major agitator for the revolutionary syndicalism in Argentina but the FOP's victory has become one of the main contenders for power in the upcoming TUC however the revolution has left deep divides in the leadership the modern faction led by the current chairman now revolutionary hero Antano Sato and then now statesman and fear how to the movement Emilio Lepez Arango which I believe is you right no Get me out of here. Uh, they plan on simply passing anarchist reforms to try and slow a customization uh, to custom Argentina into anarchist ideals, trying to compromise with the existing forces in the country rather than forcing them to comply. On the other hand, sits a faction led by uh, G. Giovanni and 
Rodolfo Gonzalez Pancho, who largely anti directionary stance and strong advocacy for cultural revolution, are starting to gain traction within the USA. Is the US. I'm guessing. Oh, no, yeah, the USA is the Cineclist. We will go for the more radical factions here. 